A very good morning to you. Welcome back. You're still on the weekend show, and this is the Entrepreneur Spotlight with Tender Chimelu, better known to you as Chef T. Today, we're going to be discussing about skincare. Now, skincare is a range of practices that enhance skin conditions such as. Nutrition, avoidance of excessive skin sun exposure, and appropriate use of skin products. The global skincare market was $98.8 billion in 2020 and is projected to about $146 billion US dollars in 2028 at a compound annual growth rate of 5.52%. Now, with me here today to enlighten us some more on this topic, we have a medical doctor and skincare expert and CEO of Mist Skincare Brand, Dr. Millicent Chisom Oko. Good morning, doctor. Good Welcome morning, to the show. Tenda. I hope I got the name right. Yes, you did. You did <laughs> okay. Amazing. So, can you tell us more about skincare in general? What exactly is skincare and why is it important? Okay. Um, so, I usually say skincare is a lifestyle. Um, because the skin is the largest organ of the body, right? And it has its own functions, the excretory functions, and then as well as the protection from outside, um, outside like interference. So skincare is basically the practice of taking care of your skin so that you nip any interference in the board. You take care of your skin so that your skin radiates, so that your skin glows. Because when you look good, you feel good, right? So when you take care of your skin, you are, you are moisturizing your skin, you are massaging your skin, you pay attention to your nutrition, your lifestyle, everything comes together to form like a balanced lifestyle when it comes to skincare. So skincare is basically caring for your skin and taking care of it with the appropriate products. Amazing with the appropriate products. That's the appropriate the catchphrase. products. Yes. yes. So talking about the appropriate products now, the CEO of the Mist Skincare brand. Yes. Very very catchy name. I've been calling it Miss Day. <laughs> so you corrected me. Yeah. It's, it's so the Mist Skincare brand. Can you tell us all about that? What is it about? Okay. So um, Mist Skin is basically a clinical skincare brand. Uh, we our formulas are a fusion of natural extracts and then clinical ingredients also known as cosmeticals so this fusion come together to give a very effective product and we also consider our people black people when we make our products so we try to make the products cater to our skin type we also use the nanotechnology um, uh, delivery to make it more effective and it penetrates the skin better and you get your desired results. We also educate people on skincare. We make sure that they have a round knowledge of what skincare is all about, the do's and the don'ts, what to do and what not to do, the right products for your skin type and the product that is going to be harming your skin. And it's very, very important in this country to educate because people are easily misled. So science of skincare, the knowledge of skincare, we also offer that. And we also offer consultations to help uh, our clients pick the right products for them. That's great. Yes. That's great. It's not just the products, but education about skin types yes. and how to use the product. So we are a, a brand that offers both products and service. That's amazing. Now with, with skincare brands, there's a lot of um, priorities. So most times it's about the profit. Of course, all businesses are about profits Fair. as well, as well as um, customer satisfaction. There's um, brand visibility. So what is the major priority for the Mist brand at the moment? Okay, so for us, our major priority right now is creating effective and healthy skincare products, as well as raising awareness for safe skincare practices. So in as much as we make these amazing products that everyone, that every one of our clients love, we also try to educate people. I stress it, I cannot stress it enough, education of skincare is very, very important. Speaking as a medical doctor now, we see it every day. People come into the hospital, they have kidney diseases, they have poor wound healing, and this all ties back to their skincare practices, the products that they were using on their skin. So we want people to understand that you should use the right product. We also want to promote a type of self-love that comes from loving the skin that you were born with. You know, colorism is very, very um, common and people experience it a lot. But we want people to also understand the importance of 
protecting the integrity of the skin so that you don't feel the need to bleach or use whitening products that are causing damage and harm to your skin. So we want to make skincare very inclusive for everybody, the old, the young, male, female, just make skincare a lifestyle, basically. Great, that's awesome. Now, um, coming to my next question, starting from somewhere about 2014, 2015, if I'm correct, there's been the rave about organic skincare products. Ah. We hear organic, organic, and sometimes we still get um, fake products, we get harmful products in the name of organic. Sometimes people just slap the name organic on anything and just sell it. So what exactly makes a skincare product organic? What do you look out for when you actually want to go for the real, authentic, organic product? Thank you so much for that question. I really okay. want to address this to Nigerians. So organic doesn't always mean safe. Organic doesn't always mean effective. Now I'll explain. I'll explain. Now organic is basically how the ingredients that were used to make the produce, the products were produced. So an organic ingredient, it's like you farm this in your backyard. So you were monitoring the growth of the ingredients. There was no chemical fertilizers being used, no pesticides being used, no, geni no genetically modified organisms. None of those artificial stuffs are being used. So the, the ingredients are literally homegrown. That's how a product can be organic. Now, the downside to this organic product thing is that there is no regulation in Nigeria, so anybody can slap organic to their products, which is very, very wrong and misleading. Um, people should understand that no products can be 100% organic. It's not possible because your skincare products have to be stable. They have to pass some tests, pH testing, microbial testing to stabilize the product. And for the product to be stable, you have to add additives to those your organic ingredients to help to preserve the shelf life so that it doesn't end up coming back to harm your skin. So by the time they add all those additives, it's no longer 100% uh, organic. So 75% organic is like the rate for most other countries like Australia, US, 75% organic is labeled organic. Anything less than that is no longer organic. So most skincare brands in Nigeria offering you organic products don't even know where their shea butter is coming from. Right? They don't know where the coconut oil is coming from. So why will you call this an organic product? I think we should not mistake the word natural for organic. Natural is like plant extracts that you're adding to your products. Organic is purely homemade farm products. So let's not get it like mixed up. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. We've already started on the skincare education <laughs> already. Yes. Thank you so much for educating us. Thank you so much for coming on the show. We hope to see you on subsequent episodes. And thank you so much for this information. It's, it was also very, very important to me as well because I used to think organic meant no chemicals, 100% natural and all that. And we keep hearing a lot of stories from organic um, products giving skin uh, diseases, conditions, yes. sunburns and uh, bleaching and all that stuff. Yes, I also so. wanted to add that most organic brands in Nigeria do this thing where they present I supposedly organic products, but they add very, very harmful ingredients into the product. They add um, hydrogen peroxide, they add mercury, all these things are supposed to use to lighten the skin, but they have a side effect of on the body because it enters into the system and damages the kidney. And if you happen to be pregnant or expecting a baby and you use such products, your baby will be affected as well. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Mili, for coming on the show. I must say you look amazing this morning. Thank I didn't compliment you so your look. Much. You oh look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on the weekend Pleasure show. Pleasure is mine. Well, it's a wrap for the Entrepreneur Spotlight on the weekend show, but don't go anywhere. We still have sports, entertainment, and politics right after the break. Stay tuned.